Hello there, it's Hayley with Armageddon Report. We're taking a look at the Cyclocane.com where we've got several different active storm systems right now. We've got Sanba, who is apparently the equivalent of a Category 2 hurricane, but actually called a typhoon. Let's turn on the satellite view for this one. It's a big West Pacific wide view. There it goes, r running off of the satellite. Here, based on the Japan Meteorological Agency, here are the warnings that are in effect. All of the red stuff, that's typhoon warnings right now. The storm warnings are the peak and gale back here and then near gale. So right now the intense part of the storm is in all of the red areas. Or at least it touches, affects part of the red areas or something of the sort. What does it say about this? And then we go take, there is, I should say, there's an invest out here apparently, 91 WP. However, the JTWC does not have an outlook area on that currently. Speaking of outlook areas, here's a couple. There's a 20% out there in the Golfo de Mexico. And then we've got a 20% uh, back here. We've got, which one is this? Nadine. There's so many storms that are active right now. Category 1 Hurricane Nadine, who's booking for the Azores Islands out here. Now, I don't know what the impacts will be. They have, uh, they being the NHC has currently no land hazards on this storm. Of course, it's also about five days out from the Azores Islands or approximately so at this point. We've got this one over here, Tormenta Tropical Christy, who is just kind of decking out, kind of mucking about. I don't know, decking around. Deck is not a verb, is it? Deck is like a thing on the, the, the house or something, the casa. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, Golfo de California, right? So, Christy producing dangerous surf and rip current conditions still with that. But of course, if you turn on the satellite view, which one is that? East Pacific wide? There we go. It's become a pretty tiny storm. So, if you know, you can see from here, it's not, you know, some of the outer bands, that's probably from, you know, that storm from Christy. But, you know, the storm itself, still far, far out from land. Out here, we've got no lander hazards on this one either because of where it is, but Tropical Storm Lane, so that one, could it book to Hawaii? Possibly, but the sea surface temperature is probably not going to support it being anything of a sort of consequence. Right, moving on to the active weather hazards, here's the Red Fuego, Fuego. the fire weather warnings, there's stuff going on always, red flag warnings, critical fire danger, hoisted, that is a good verb. Red flag warnings hoisted today. So that is where, you know, it could be anything from like uh, drought conditions, uh, low humidity, dry thunderstorms, stuff like that can create dangerous fire conditions such that a fire gets spread. It could, or a fire gets set, it could spread quite rapidly. Up here, it's apparently winter with the frost advisories. Hello, winter. Invierno. I think that's the word. Today, all green across the board. Tomorrow, a bit of a bit... Oh, this is severe thunderstorm-wise, of course, I should say. Tomorrow, a bit of a problem, maybe, but just 5%. But then here we go with day three. So September 18th, and the Storm Prediction Centre put something on the map yesterday. So they were seeing it that far out where now this... You know, yesterday, I think it was about this area, and now they have shifted it somewhat to the south. So, East Coast in for potentially severe weather event. Obviously, something to keep an eye on, but past that, you know, potential too low on this day. So, what, September 18th is basically the big day potentially coming up severe weather-wise. Here's a probability map if you want to see where, at least as of right now, where they've got the biggest chance of the threat. So that would mean, for instance, if you pick this random point in Pennsylvania, you go to 30% chance that someone at that random point or within 25 mile radius of that point will see a severe weather event the day after tomorrow. Right, severeweathertv.com is the official homepage of this screencast. And of course, if you can't read, there's the other things we could waste on cycloking. And that's it for today. Hopefully you enjoy the rest of your lovely weekend.